Hey everyone, Kareen Carpino here, and we're going to paint dandelions today. We're going to start with a piece of Yupo and some Ranger ink, Stream, Wild Plum, and Meadow, and take a little makeup pad and just blend those colors together for the background. Now we're going to take a toothbrush and put a little bit of alcohol on it and just spritz it over the background and take a blending pen and use it to lift the ink off the paper and create the shapes of the dandelions and grasses. And just keep wiping your blending pen on a piece of paper towel to remove the ink from the tip of the pen so you can continue to lift this ink off and get your Yupo as close to a white background where these flowers are going to go as possible. And this will help our ink stay really bright when we put them on to create our flowers. And now it's time to paint our stems with Ranger Teakwood and just using a small tip brush Go ahead and pull that ink down through and then use the blending pen to soften it up. Now we're going to use some meadow ink with a number eight round brush and just start to paint in the calyx underneath the uh, where the dandelion flower head will go. Just use nice short strokes and then you can take your blending pen uh, and just soften that up a bit. Okay, it's time to paint those flower heads and we're going to use butterscotch and dandelion yellow uh, and just paint this in with a number eight round brush. We want to get lots of layers of petals to make this look pretty three-dimensional. So just continue to go over your layers, uh, darker, lighter, bring in some alcohol, lighten those petals up and just continue to layer the petals on. Now I'm going to add a little Jacquard Pinata Sun Bright Yellow, which is really bright, and just bring some highlights into this flower. Okay, for these dandelions that are going to have seed heads, we're going to use a little bit of teakwood ink and just create the, the um, stems for where those seed heads are going to um, come out of. And let's add some little tiny yellow flowers in between. Uh, give some interest to this composition just using a little tiny size zero brush um, just to make this kind of fun. These dandelions are out in the field and a little bit of meadow to create some stems. So let's put some little buds down here. These dandelions haven't um, burst out yet. And so I drew little triangles for the top and I'm just adding some what would be leaves underneath that from the calyx. Add a little alcohol to my brush and just lighten these up and create the texture. Now we're going to use a variety of greens to create grasses. I'm starting first with Stream, a number eight round brush, and just using long strokes. And let's use some botanical green to create kind of abstract leaves for the bottom of those dandelions. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on my brush and just pull it through and break this up a little bit. If your areas start to bleed um, further than you expected, just either wave your hand over it or blow on it to evaporate the alcohol. 
And now I'm gonna take my toothbrush again and a little bit of alcohol and just spritz it around. And of course, as we do sometimes, I've decided to add to this composition. So I'm gonna use my blending pen again and create two more flowers so that I have five main flowers as opposed to three. I want to seal my background before I start to put my white ink on for my white flowers and so I can use um, either Kilty Layering Solution or Kamar and let that Ranger Snow Cap White get thick in my palette and then using a little number zero brush just putting little V shapes in to start to create the puff of those uh, dandelion. And I'm just going to continue to go around in a circle with my little V shapes and start to create a 3D effect. I'm going to do the same thing with this other dandelion. Just put little V shapes up around. This one's a side view and we'll just continue to fill it in. I want to create some shadow in this dandelion and so I'm just adding a little bit of teak wood in between the white and then using a micro dental tool in my very thick ink I'm just adding some little dots to this again building up texture for that three-dimensional look. Continuing to use the dental tool and my white ink I'm just going to add some highlights into the yellow dandelions. And I want my highlights to be a little bit thicker and so I'm going to go in now with the size zero brush and just add a little more. Just brighten up these little dandelions on the bottom. Now it's time for the final touches. A little bit of white on the stems, a little more white in the flowers, highlight those stems just a little bit more, and I'm going to go back in the flowers and just pull that pink through a little bit and just create more of a dimensional look with these seed heads. Let's add a little of those seed heads just flying around in the wind and we'll be done. Hope you enjoyed today's quick lesson in how to paint dandelions and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Happy inking!